developed in part at Canada's National Microbiology Lab, deployed in the heart of a deadly outbreak, an Ebola vaccine that works. The final results of a clinical trial are in. They show the lethal pathogen can be contained. When we saw the interim results, it was really something fantastic to, you know, to, to see in such a, a humanitarian disaster to have something that, uh, that, can, uh, that can know in the future is a hope for controlling other outbreaks of Ebola. The vaccine, now known as RVSV Zebov, was first developed by the Public Health Agency of Canada more than a decade ago, but then it was licensed to a U.S. company and work on it stalled. So in an extraordinary move, the World Health Organization organized the clinical trial because no one else would. Of the nearly 6,000 people in Guinea vaccinated in 2015 during the outbreak, just half developed mild symptoms of the disease. No one died. The vaccination strategy was the same one used to eradicate smallpox in the 1970s. Identify an infected person, vaccinate anyone they came in contact with, then immunize friends, family and neighbours of those contacts, ensuring herd immunity. And by doing this you don't need to vaccinate the entire country or even uh, region, you just need to vaccinate people that are in contact or at least are in, are in contact or are in contact with the contact. Gary Kobinger is the former National Microbiology Lab scientist who designed the prototype of the vaccine. The trial validates his work. I think at this point, to have an exposure leading to uh, a fatality would be more than, than sad. It will be unacceptable now that this vaccine is available. Almost. The vaccine next has to undergo a special fast-tracked regulatory approval to ensure it's ready. Though questions remain about how long immunization from the virus lasts. Still 40 years after the first appearance of Ebola, and the WHO says eradication is in sight. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.